Uh, this is where I'm up to with my Blood on the Clock Tower print and play. So I've got the life tokens here for the all the players. They get flipped upside down when you die. Um, the shrouds, I've showed those. These boxes, these bits boxes, are sized to hold the character tokens. Right here. They work really well. Um, this one I printed a little bit too short. It can't hold a, a full stack. Um, I had to put a hole in the bottom because I found that the lids would fit so tightly that it was hard to pull them off. But with the hole, there's a bit of like a, like a bellows. Uh, this lid is a bit too loose. It's fine. It's not going to fall off. But um, the the noise you hear is me printing another more tightly fitting lid. Um, I also left a bit of a gap between here, between the base and the lid. The original lid went further down and was kind of hard. Like you had to kind of squeeze to get the lid off. Um, but that's working well. Uh, so now we're going to print the the dots for the night sheet and the vote tokens are drying and I want to make a bag for handing out the character tokens. Um, the other thing I've invented were these little clips. So uh, generally it's recommended to use a dog clip to hold the two halves of the grimoire together. Um, however, I reckon these clips might work better um, because they squish more towards the top of the, the cardboard as opposed to further down. And the top is where you want the, the main pinch to happen. Um, so yeah, I'm nearly there. Um, printing a lid now. And then I'll move on to the other the other sets. Um, sects and violence and Bad Moon Rising, I think. Nearly ready to run a game. Okay, bye bye.